y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video I'm going to be reacting to hashtag chef memes on Instagram. So I've been following this tag for a while and I think it's pretty funny so I wanted to share it with you guys and kind of explain some that people that don't work in kitchens wouldn't necessarily know about or understand. So we'll go ahead and get to... <laughs> so this first one says, her. Tell me what I want to hear. Chef whispers in her ear. We're tasting the new menu with wine pairings. Her shivers. I mean, there's like a whole thing about how people who work in a kitchen drink a lot, which it's a really hard job. So yeah, a lot of cooks drink and we'll go out for drinks after work and that's how we like bond. Just shooting the shit after a long day at work. So when we get to drink on the job, because we're menu tasting with wine pairings. I mean, drinking on the job. I realize that's bad, but it's like kind of, it's okay in this situation, you know? Yeah. Okay, so here's the next one. My job would be so boring if my coworkers and I didn't spend most of our time gently bullying each other. Yeah, this is true. Um, We all kind of, you gotta be tough to work in a kitchen. We kind of like jab at each other all the time. It's all in good fun, but you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. You gotta like own your shit, know when you fucked up, and you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. You won't survive in a kitchen if you can't do that. I wasn't always that way, but definitely like over time, being in kitchens, I became much more comfortable with laughing at myself and owning my shit. This one, okay. When the goth line cook gets his turn at special creation, laughs are cheap, I'm going for gasps. So this one's funny to me because most people in a kitchen are of the alternative caliber of people, tattoos and tough demeanors. And I would say most people in a kitchen wear black. So which one's the goth one? I am, but so is other people at work. It's not just one. There's not just one in a kitchen. There's always multiple. And yeah, sometimes it's fun to do a crazy special. <laughs> this next one. This next one is me. Like, when I used to work at night, this one was 100% me. The look you give a server when they ask if is my food coming up yet. The server can see in the window that we are in the middle of making food and that we are doing our best to get all of the tickets out. Don't fucking talk to us. Talk to the expo and see how many tickets back yours is. We are doing our best. Stop distracting us from cooking the food for the people. This is the most annoying thing ever. And I get it. Sometimes tickets get lost and they get worried that that's going to happen. That's why they have an expo to talk to and the expo talks to us. <sighs> this next one I also relate, relate with a lot. When a server forgets to punch in a ticket and says, I need that on the fly. I'm so sorry. Line cook, don't be sorry, be better. This is me all the time. Our servers will wait to punch in their tickets until they've like taken the orders of multiple tables and then they forget one or if they have like one that's not part of that group they forget to type it in and then they're like I need these things on the fly it's like dude your job is to put food in for people how do you forget to put in a ticket I just I don't understand I don't get it explain this to me I don't like this one it's too cheesy but I'm gonna read it to you anyways did you hear about the chef that died he passed away we can only do so much. His legacy will become pizza history. He ran out of time. I also saw a thread on Reddit where like this continued and people kept coming up with more lines. Little cheesy dad joke in there for those of y'all that like it. This, this so much. Oh my God. Servers be like, when you get a second, Maybe, 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 drop your bucket off and then take a stack of clean dishes back with you 
and put them away. Because then, our getting a second will come sooner. Yeah, this pisses me off. I've had to stay. At the kitchen that I work in, we help dish at the end of the night so that everybody can get out. And we've had to stay hours past when we were supposed to get off because there were so many dishes piled up. And you know, every one of the servers was fucking out the door right after they were done. When you cut your fingertip off, but still got to finish your shift. Kind of true though. You know, if, if it's not bad enough that you can just like wrap it up, put a finger caught on, yeah, finish your shift. I almost cut part of my thumb off and had to go get stitches and then tried to go back to work and they told me to go home but then I came back the next day and worked the rest of the week and now my thumb smiles. I'm gonna marry a chef. Sit back, relax, and let the husband do all the cooking. After 12 hours of cooking at the restaurant, you expect me to cook for you too? Are you fucking kidding me? So this one I see both sides of. I know lots of people that are cooks that don't want to cook at home and don't want to cook for other people and just want to do like easy stuff and I get that. I really do. I think I'm so obsessive and so like in this world and trying to do so many business things that like I cook almost every day. Like I am after this video I'm gonna go meal prep for this week. I'm gonna make stir fry. And I'm gonna make it from scratch because for some reason like I'm just one of those people who's like I can't get enough It's like nothing to me to be cooking It's just like second nature. It's just what I do But I do understand those people that are too tired to come home and cook I mean that's why I meal prep because I am tired and I don't necessarily want to make a whole big meal when I get home Granted, I don't really eat dinner. I make it for my partner, but like Yeah, I don't mind doing more cooking at home. Back to the um, drinking cook trope. Working brunch after a Saturday close and binge drink like, hey, cool, I'm dead. You kind of do feel like this after clopening. It's not fun, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I like this one a lot because I'm both a baker and a cook. So this one I like, this one pertains to me a lot. Baking, good for your soul. Line cook. I have no soul. I think this one is really funny because it's so true like the times that I've been exclusively a baker have been like way more relaxing way more like chill and I just like did my thing and nobody really bothered me because a lot of times the chefs don't really know what you're doing they just know that you have a delicious baked good at the end of the day at least in my experience, the kitchens that I've worked in, they haven't really been like overbearing. Whereas when you're on the line, you're usually like working with your chef and he's right there and he's like, we gotta get this food out. We gotta bust it out, bust it out, go and go and go and go and you're a, you're a slave to the ticket machine. Whereas as a baker, you're just like in the back baking stuff all day. <laughs> when the boss asks how you're doing mid rush. Yep. I'm making it through. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Sharp. Heard sharp. This one's kind of funny. I like this one. Just force of habit. The victim just says heard sharp. The funny thing is in my kitchen, we, we, I mean, obviously we do use the sharp, heard, corner, all of those like words you have to use when you're walking around to make sure nobody gets hurt. But like me and a few other people, most of the time don't even say the words. I just like meow. I'm just like meow, meow. Cause like, that comes to my brain quicker than saying like behind or left, right, whatever, because the person can hear which direction I'm coming from if I just meow. It works. It still works. I'll probably have to stop if I'm one day in a different kitchen. But in this kitchen, they're cool with it. Cause we're all weirdos. <laughs> We've done this so many times. When a customer is eating a meal ordered extra spicy. So, when I worked at night, we had this one person that came in to order and would always order our buffalo cauliflower wings extra spicy. So we would always have fun just like mixing, taking like the buff sauce, mixing like habanero powder in it and just like jalapeno and just 
all kinds of super duper, anything we can find in the kitchen that was super spicy, we just like mix it into this lava sauce. And it was thick and it was, oh man. And we would always do this. We would always like, we would always watch them eat these wings and we were like, whoa, like is there not, is there no such thing as too much spice for this person? Like we're fucking trying here. Kitchen surround sound. I've definitely done this a lot. Most kitchens that I've worked in have had a radio, have had a speaker that people could play music over, but there's definitely been times where the speaker was broken and this was all we could do, or like somebody in Dish wanted to listen to music, so this is how they would listen, and like, yeah, this is, yep, this happens. Cooks, dinner rush, servers. This is so fucking funny and so true. I mean, I know the servers work, I know they do their job, but like, because the cooks can only see the servers when they're like not in front of the customers, that is when they're like eating food or like taking a bite or like taking a rest. So like we don't really get to see them actually doing work. So in our perspective, this is what happens. Oh my goodness, this one, this one is so funny. Salad girl after first patio season be like, Yeah. Yeah. First of all, salad line, cold line is always the easiest line. And throughout the winter, not a lot of people are ordering salads. Come summertime, when people are able to sit outside and people are watching their figure because they want their summer bodies, everybody orders salads. So you go from like doing maybe less than a third of the orders to doing like half the order sometimes. It gets nuts and I know it says girl and some people are probably like boys can be salad too look okay most of the time cold line salad line is a girl there's usually not too many girls in a lot of kitchens my kitchen is different my kitchen is pretty well balanced and I would even say that we probably have mostly girls but that's a rarity that's not usual in a kitchen I like this one a lot we just is trying to explain mods on a ticket me just trying to do my job this is so true because the way our kitchen is set up, the cold line is right next to the window. When I worked at night, I would be on cold line a lot and servers would come up in the window and start like trying to explain mods to us and to the expo. And I'd be looking back at my chef like, you getting this? You understanding this? So yeah, this one is also very accurate. Okay, this one is my absolute favorite in this entire, like, of all of these memes. When your best dishwasher wants to move to salads. Fair enough, I'm going to write you a prescription for two testicles. This is the best because like, the culinary industry is one of those industries where you are usually going to have to start from the bottom and work your way up and prove yourself. So for me, I did, I started, I started cleaning and dish at a water burger when I was 16. And I slowly moved my way up. I moved my way up to cashier, and then to drive through cashier, and then to fry, and then to making the burgers. And then I went on to a cafe where I was like a cashier, and then I did cold line, and then I moved up to pizza, and I moved to bread baker. And like I had to go through all these little steps to move my way up to where I am now. But this is like, the most true like this happened in my kitchen we have a really awesome dishwasher and now he's moved to prep cook most of the time and that's all i have today for reacting to chef memes i hope you enjoyed this video i found it pretty funny i hope i could enlighten you on some of the happenings and goes on of how a kitchen works and how your food goes from you ordering it to sitting on your table I'm gonna go play around in my own kitchen now, which is much less stressful than being at work. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are down below. Hit the like button if you liked this video. Comment down below what your favorite meme was. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these in the future too, because there are so many more funny ones. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Remember, we're trying to grow this channel to 50 subscribers by the end of the year, and I would love your help with that. Hit the notification bell if you never want to miss a video. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.